Hi everyone, welcome back to Ask Amy. I have a question today from Carla. Carla says, I've listened to some of the change stories and some Ask Amy's, and I've noticed that sometimes people's binge eating habit gets worse before it gets better. Why is that? I've been a binge eater for decades, and I want to stop this habit, but the thought of it getting worse before it gets better seriously frightens me. Thank you for answering my question. So, Carla, first and foremost for you, I'll speak to your question about it getting better or worse, but I want you to notice, which I think you do, how your mind has said, oh my gosh, sometimes this seems to get worse before it gets better. And as you say, I'm scared to death of that. That seriously frightens me. I don't want that experience. And how even in how you ask your question, you say, I've been doing this for decades, I want to be free, but this is kind of something in the way. I'm afraid for it to get worse before it gets better. I just want you to see if you can notice, and maybe this is very clear to you already, maybe it isn't, I don't know, but see if you can notice how your mind is in here saying, oh, we want freedom, perhaps, but not if it's going to get worse before it gets, not if it has to look that way. You know, that will just go decades longer into this habit. I, I don't want it to be this particular way. Or your mind is coming up with these images and stories and pictures based on what it's heard from other people, but it's creating this image of Carla in the middle of it and says, oh, I don't know if freedom's worth all that. Just see that this is like minds are so smart. They they will do so much to kind of keep us where we are in a sense. They don't like surprises. They don't like change a whole lot, even though it, everything's always changing. To your brain, it just wants to know what's coming so it can keep you alive. So it's it, it kind of likes where it is for the most part. All of our brains do. Again, it's not a bad thing. It just It's just because it loves you and it's working very hard to keep you alive. But notice how it's maybe picked up on like some fluctuations in people's habits and stories that you've heard. And now it's turning it into this thing that feels very solid and concrete and seriously frightening. But what you're seriously afraid of in this whole scenario is not your habit getting worse before it gets better. It's not the stories you've heard in this moment right now. What what is seriously frightening you is a made up story and a bunch of pictures that your mind has created. It's not true. It's not real. Like your mind, our mind, everybody's mind jumps ahead and it says, oh, it could be like that. And it would feel this way. And before you know it, there's this, this really well-formed, very solid feeling movie playing out in our heads with you as the star character <laughs> suffering, your habit having gotten worse and you're suffering and maybe it wasn't worth it and all of that stuff in a split second, less than a second, this is what a brain does. It's so smart. It's so creative. It's so good. And then we walk around with this picture thinking, oh, this seems likely. I think this is what I'm hearing from other people. Maybe I should just stay where I am, you know? And so I just want you to see you're not afraid of things getting worse. You're not afraid of finding freedom from your habit. You're not afraid of any of that. You're afraid of an imaginary picture that your brain has created. And that's what brains do. This is not you and your brain, Carla, that's, this is what brains do. They make up pictures to tell us what's coming so we have this sense of security and safety. So to the question, do habits get worse sometimes before they get better? Sometimes, although I wouldn't say it's the norm. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the percentages are. And, and it's deeper than what I'm saying. But, but first, I just want you to know, as a person who's seen thousands of people find freedom from habits, just I, I mean, this is what I do all day, every day, lots and lots of habits I've seen fall away. I wouldn't say it's a absolute, like, markable thing that they get worse before they get better. Sometimes people have that experience. A lot of times they don't. So, again, none of this has anything to do with you, Carla. There could be all kinds of people out there that say, it got worse before it got better. There's all kinds of people that say, no, it just got better. <laughs> all kinds of people say, oh, I don't know. I never thought about it. Maybe it got a little worse. Maybe it got a little better. And all of their experiences are going to be completely different. 
So what's happening right in this moment, or when you wrote the question, Carla, is again, your mind, our, this is what brains do, they go out and they do this really fancy, very fast calculation, they figure out all this stuff and they say, oh, here's what's likely to happen. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. It's gonna hurt, you're gonna suffer, it's gonna be really hard. And then you say, oh my gosh, I'm afraid of that. Well, you're not afraid of that. You're when you think about it how anything is going to go i never know how it'll go you never know how it'll go no one knows how it's going to go we cannot possibly know there's only a mind in here that wants control and certainty that tries to tell us that it knows and it just doesn't absolutely no reason to think things will get worse before they're better or that it'll go any particular way so even when now here's the here's the really interesting part this is a little deep I'll see if I can kind of speak to it in words but sometimes what happens is we're starting to wake up to how our how our thoughts are always moving how it isn't what we thought it was how we're not it how how like there's this just safe seamless flow of experience always moving through us and, and we get a bit of space maybe these are all just metaphors they're not real things but just like we f we feel a bit of lightness and fluidity and space and all of that and and for me it went this way like oh <clears throat> I, I don't think I have to do what my mind tells me to do I think I'm kind of seeing that I can actually feel discomfort and it's not so horrible it's not what I thought it was so I can be with these feelings and I don't need to run and eat them away all the time and so I could see and I could start to feel into like, wow, I think there's freedom here. And pretty, really early on for me, I'm just talking about me personally now, just one person, this is not how it goes, this is just one person. For me, it was like, oh, I'm not gonna be in this forever. Now, I might have binged that day, but I knew, I knew like, okay, there's, I'm not as, I didn't look locked into it the way that I looked the day prior. I didn't look, it didn't look personal. It didn't look like this is my problem that that's, I need to do something about. It looked like a misunderstanding. It looked like, oh, I'm just getting swept away in my experience, but I think there's other, I think that that's changeable. I think there's like different experiences there. So anyway, I knew it would end, but it didn't end right away. And when I would still have the behaviors, have the habitual behaviors show up, sometimes that I don't know. Sometimes it felt like, oh, no big deal. Other times it felt like, well, what the heck? I know what's going on, you know, and I would kind of beat myself up and maybe we can call that it getting worse before it gets better. It's all relative. What I'm trying to say is worse <laughs> and better are completely relative made up concepts. So people may even say it got worse before it got better, but what are they talking about? Their suffering, their feelings, their behavior who the heck knows it's all made up so I really want you Carla to just hold this so loosely because I can see and this is just what all minds do I can see how your mind is picking up gleaning some facts and some stories and melding them into a thing that's likely to happen for Carla and it happens to look kind of scary and it's holding you back and by and large I mean I wouldn't trade anything for freedom from this habit nothing so even if you feel some stuff that you've been eating away and you feel some stuff, again, your mind will tell you what that's gonna feel like. Well, your mind doesn't know. Feel it, feel it, lean into it, get curious about it. And life leads us through this. Life leads us through this. And when you start to find freedom, oh my gosh, like you're, you're not gonna be so caught up in a story about, oh no, what if this happens? Or, you know, like it, it's just, it's nothing like you can, describe obviously it's nothing like you can you expect it to be it's nothing like you hear it being told from other people you will have your experience and and it's not this it's often not this huge jarring thing it's just being lived and seeing things along the way and I think by and large it's not not at all a horrible thing and everyone I've ever talked to says hey whatever I went through was well worth it to be free of this so I really want to encourage you to keep looking in that direction so I hope something in here made sense thank you so much for sending your questions great question 
uh, send your questions, anyone, everyone, to ask Amy at the little school big change.com. I could speak to anything that you're curious about, habits, anxiety, anything around seeing our thoughts and all all of the stuff. All of the stuff. Send it to ask Amy at the little school dot com, little school big change dot com. And I'll be here every Monday at one o'clock Eastern to speak to them. So thanks everyone. Have a great week. I'll see you next week.